I just wanted to share a little bit about my Course in Miracles story, how I came to it and how it's helped me. Um, just to illustrate how much it can help and transform your life. Um, so I first came across it in about 2005. I think my mum and brother had brought it into my life and they had started practicing it. But I wasn't really interested in it at that time. I was kind of interested in things like the secret, about manifesting and that kind of thing. And, um, and intuition and that kind of stuff. And, but my mind was open to spirituality. Um, and I did enjoy um, a book by an author called Gary Renard, who is a really good A Course in Miracles teacher. Definitely check out his work. His book is called The Disappearance of the Universe. And um, so I'd read that book and I'd been to a couple of his seminars and this is over about five to 10 years. Um, I eventually bought A Course in Miracles and um, read a few pages, tried the lessons, but it was like I was getting it on one level. Like there was part of me that was really feeling it, like, oh, that feels so good, oh, that's so right. But my conscious mind didn't really get it, like, what are all these words? Because um, all the words, I've, I've only realised, like, since I've been writing this course, really, they're all redefined, they don't mean what what we think they mean. <laughs> so I wish it said that at the beginning. So again, over that 10 years, this is from like 2005 to 2015-ish, um, I attempted the workbook a little bit and I think I did about 20 lessons um, and I read a few pages of the text every now and then um, and, and that, you know, really helped me in the moment. But I, you know, maybe only read about 10 or 20 pages of the text. Um, I found it pretty hard going. I, could, I had to read a paragraph over and over and over again to kind of make my mind understand what it was saying. Um, and it wasn't until I had this horrendous, like, anxiety episode. It wasn't an anxiety attack. I'd had them before too. But this was like an ongoing panic. Like I was caught in a fear bubble and I couldn't get out of it. Fear thoughts were swelling around and around my head. I was only sleeping three hours a night and I usually now, like normal Fran, sleeps nine hours a night. <laughs> um, it was really horrendous. I wasn't eating. And that, and that was about two months in that I started really trying hard to apply the teachings of A Course in Miracles. I would do it all day, every day. I'd Google blog posts and read as much as I could about it, reread all of Gary Renard's books. He's got about four books. Disappearance of the Universe was the first book. He's got three others, which are all brilliant as well. And bit by bit, um, slowly, slowly, I think it took about three months to get rid, completely rid of the anxiety and even get rid of like underlying anxiety that was kind of always there that I had been noticing for a few years. Like, you know, my heart will be beating a bit faster or I'd be, you know, just feel on edge about things. Um, that had disappeared as well. I'm not saying I never experienced anxiety, but if I experience it now, it's literally like a minute, I work out what's caused it and then I do the transformation thought process on it and then it's gone. It's so transformative. Like, I don't know where I would have been without A Course in Miracles when I had my anxiety. I really don't. And it has the transformative effect, not just on fear and anxiety, but on shame, embarrassment, anger, loneliness, heartache, all forms of, like, really upsetting emotion. And it works on physical pain, like period pain. Um, uh, any physical symptoms, digestive symptoms, like you've stubbed your toe, you've whacked your knee, headaches. You can literally use the thought process to transform your mind around pain and then it dissolves because the world is a projection from your mind. The mind is source. So if you change your mind about something and if you know how, then your world changes. So I just wanted to give you a little story time there um, and that's why I've created Miracle Practice because 
I believe in it so much and it's so transformative, so wonderful and it's really cool and fun as well, like to have this power and to use it for good, you know, it's wonderful. But pain and fear aside, I've also used the thought process on relationships and that's shifted um, how people show up in my life. Um, situations and that shifted situations in my life like other people's behavior or my attachment to certain outcomes and events um, if you do forgiveness on that it shifts you know because it's a projection from your mind so you're changing your mind so anything in the physical world you can use the forgiveness process on so if this is pulling your intuitive heartstrings and you feel like you want to learn this too I would love to invite you to come and join miracle practice with me it's an eight-week course we'll go through all the like fundamental teachings of A Course in Miracles get really clear on them and then start applying them to your life so that you can transform <clears throat> whatever form of suffering you're coming up against because we all face suffering and most people that are drawn to A Course in Miracles have had pretty shitty experiences you don't really seek change unless you've kind of hit rock bottom or, you know, you're having a bad time. Um, depression, anxiety, all that kind of stuff. So um, if that's you and if you want change, then I would love to help you.